Hello everybody. In today's video, we're going to start doing more rigging. How about that? We're going to finish off the uh, heavy stay lines. We're going to get into the light stay lines, maybe even into the uh, rear stay lines. And who knows, maybe other stuff. I don't know. But if you want to know and you want to see what's going to happen, make sure you stay tuned. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far It's like you lived a few lifetimes Take off from a break, off from the weak minds They can stay soft, you can change lives, you create thoughts Never waste time, you got one shot, you got one life Better pop off, what do you like? Make a dream job, no 9-5, no mean boss Just my life and free thoughts Hello BSC family and welcome back to my bench So today, uh, we're going to continue on with the heavy stay lines Okay uh, I've got the uh, six main heavy stay lines already done. You've seen that in the last video. And if not, go check that out. But now we're going to start working on these uh, rear stay, uh, stay lines, right? Um, as you can see here, there are two heavy stay lines in each group, right? And they would be right here. These first two on each set, okay, on both sides. And they basically go up to here and I believe the top of this thing right here, top of the mast, it crosses over. So one will be in between here, the other one will be over top. I believe they are both like that. And then the rest of them, the light stay lines, once we get to them, uh, there'll be five light stay lines on the two front, uh, both front ones, the middle ones, and then there's two on the rear, right? And they obviously, as you go through, they just keep getting progressively higher up on the masts all the way up, right? Just like it shows here, right? As you go through, each one goes progressively higher, right? They just keep going up. Um, then the... Uh, forward stay lines the forward light stay lines okay as you can see here I've got these heavy ones I got these heavy ones but then there's four light stay lines and they go down to the bow sprit so they'll go down to here and over here and then back over to the bow right uh, and then of course over here we've got uh, three more one here, one here, one here, and then on the rear, between the midst of the mast and the main mast, there is three as well, right? So we've got a lot to do. Um, we haven't even gotten into any of the blocks and tackles and stuff like that. Uh, most of that will be in the running rigging, right? Stay lines don't typically move. The only stay lines that actually move um, somewhat, they're not meant to move, but uh, technically the stay lines, like all your shrouds, are stay lines, right? These ones up front here are stay lines, but if you look, they do have a bit of running rigging, right? Along with all your shroud lines have running rigging, and all these rear stay lines have running rigging, right? Basically, they are for adjusting the mast, right? We zoom out. They're basically for adjusting the mast forwards and backwards and side to side, right? So they have to have running rigging, even though they don't typically move, okay? Once you set them, they pretty much stay there. Uh, but if things do need to be adjusted, that's what you do is you pull on your running rigging, which tightens it one side to the other, forward or backwards, right? And of course, your rat lines are there to do the same thing. They help side to side. These ones here are more for the backwards, you know, just uh, for your back stay lines, which you need more of because your once your sails are out, right, all the pressure is being pushed forward, right? So you need more strength pulling back than you do pulling forward, right? forward is just to make sure that they don't fall backwards right but all your strength is needed on the back side of your masts for when the wind pushes forward right 
So that's why there's more. But again, they still need to be adjusted. Uh, if you've got your uh, topsail uh, pulling too hard, you know, uh, of course you can back off your sail, but if you need your sails open and it's pulling too hard and it's bending more at the top than in the middle, well then you would tighten your back ones up, right? You tighten these ones up to bring everything back to strip, back to true. So these are the lines that are going to be put on today. Um, or in this video anyways, it'll probably take me a good two weeks to do this. Uh, so I'm going to get to it and uh, if there's anything I need to show you I will come back. I'll show you what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, but basically I'm just following the plans and uh, if you're building this ship you've got these plans as well. Make sure you read through everything. Um, it will definitely help especially on these older kits like this. Uh, but anyways, so I'm going to get to it and uh, it'll only be a second for you, but I'll be back and I'll show you where I'm at. Hello everybody. Okay, so um, I'm not as far as I want it to be, but at the same time, uh, I've been kind of working on this off and on. As you've seen watching my channel, I got kind of burnt out on doing this for a little bit, um, but I'm back at it here. Uh, finish up this uh, this part, part eight, and uh, it's taking quite a bit of work, but I do have um, all the light forward stays done, all right? Now, I know this is going to be hard to see, but as you can see here, let's go a little higher yet. You can see that I've got these three uh, upper stays, the light stays done, all right, and they come down. It's hard to film this because I don't have a whole lot of room, but you can see that they run through from the bowsprit. There's four lines one, two, three, and four. Um, each upper set here. One goes to one side, this one comes to the other side, same thing on these two. One goes that way, one comes this way. And as you can see, they come across over here. And it's hard to film this because there's nowhere to really put paper. But they come along and they come up to the bow here. I uh, can't remember if all the chains are done, but the chains are done. Now, uh, same thing if I go the other way. These ones up here, these three here are done all the way up all right and same thing with these back ones here these three are done now i am i've got the upper um, rat lines done up here it's hard to see i know but as you can see i do have the upper rat lines done all the way on both sides now of course you come down here and let's put this paper here like so. Now you can see I've got the two heavy stays done on both sides of all three. Uh, first one comes up and stops just up here at the, this little deck. And then the second one comes up to the top of the mast. You can't see right there. All right, stops at the top of the mast. Now the rest of them, the light stays. Uh, there's five light stays that have to come down to these dead eyes and they progressively go all the way up higher and higher like I said last time. So I've got all these front ones, front heavy stays. I've got the heavy stays on the main mast and also on the mitzen mast. I've got the four light stays done at the uh, mitzen mast, right? You can see, hopefully you can see that. Yeah, you can see the, the heavy stays here and then the light stays and then the light stays go all the way up. Let's see if I can get those. You can see the light stays all the way up. All right, and I've started the light stays on the uh, main mast here. You can see there. Of course, they go all the way up. 
as far as I can show you. Anyways, so that's what I'm working on right now. And sorry for the camera movement and everything else, but uh, this ship is so big and where I've got the camera and I can't swing this thing around because, well, I've got the screen. It's longer than the bench is deep, right? But it is coming along and uh, I'm going to continue on with the, the light stays or light back stays anyways. And then from there, uh, let's see, can I show you this? From there, uh, let's see, where are we here? So yeah, I got to finish all these back stays, right? And they all get tied off and everything else. And then the next step, we'll be getting into the running rigging. So hopefully in the next video, I'll show you where all the light stays are done here, right? And uh, we'll get into the running rigging. Now, I'm not putting sails on this, so I have to kind of pick and choose kind of thing. I got to go through. This is the instructions for the newer kit. And then there's the instructions for this kit, right? Uh, so it's a little more complicated and I'll have to read things, but kind of bouncing back and forth between the two of them and hopefully I can get everything figured out, uh, which lines I need, which ones I don't, cause it doesn't fully say do these lines for no sales and do these lines with sales. Uh, this set here, it says sail rigging, um, sheet and crew lines. So, you know, and then there's, I think there's running rigging for four mast, four and aft sails, you know, so there's a whole bunch of different things. I got to kind of jump around. Uh, some of them I need, some I don't. And uh, like I said, uh, hopefully I can get everything I need from the two different sheets or two different instructions, right? Uh, which ones I do need, which ones I don't. There's a lot of stuff here that, like this one doesn't say anything about if this is for sales, without sales. You know, it just shows pictures of sales. Pretty much with everything, right? Everything they show seems to have sales except for this stuff. Now, I can't see just that stuff being the only things that I'd have to do. I'm sure there's other ones. I know there's some that go from uh, from yard to yard. Um, I'm not seeing that on this uh, or this one. It's not showing that. And again, not showing there. Not showing there. Here we got blocks. They're going uh, from the de um, one of the observation decks up to the yard, out to the end, and back up. Uh, now, do I have to do that either way of not having sales or having sales? Or is that for sales only? Um, it's showing here that, you know, they got sales again. Same thing with this stuff. Do I have to do that? Is that with or without sales? So, yeah, there's lots to figure out. Uh, here's your forward and back ones for the yards, right? And that's the ones that turn the yards depending on which way your wind is blowing so yeah there, there's a lot to figure out so uh with all that being said make sure you hit that subscribe button for me definitely share these videos hit that thumbs up for me that always helps right um hit that bell notification make sure that all notifications are turned on so you don't miss out on anything Give me a follow on my Instagram and my Facebook group. Links for them are down in the description. If you want to help out the channel, I do have a PayPal Me link and a Teespring store down in the description. Give that a check out if you want. And no matter how tedious things are or how long it takes you, keep pecking away at it. You will get it done. And no matter what it is, just build it for you. It's on your shelf. So until next time, later.